So this is a project from many years ago. Actually, 2003, I started this, and I've changed it a little bit in the years since. I've kind of polished it up in ways that web browsers weren't able, I didn't know how to do back in 2003. But uh, this is for Condorcet voting and showing, it actually allows you to vote here. You can pick candidates. In this case, they're restaurants. This was, uh, I did restaurants for, um, my previous employer, we used to always argue over which uh, restaurant to have to get lunch brought in from every day. So I said, why don't we just vote on it? And we tried this a few times just for kicks and worked worked fine. Um, but uh, the idea is you can, you can rank the candidates. You can do so in a fairly easy to use interface. Uh, you can, uh, and it shows the results and it'll show the result real time. I can even look at the other ballots. For instance, I'm uh, Dave in this example. So here's the ones I voted for, Bun Me, Ramen Underground, Banana House. That represents Bun Me, Ramen Underground, Banana House. And, uh, and it shows it as a Condorcet election. And uh, you'll notice here, if there is a Condorcet winner, it will be in the top row. The top row is all green. That indicates it's a Condorcet winner. Gray is tie, and you notice some of them, if it's a desaturated color, that means it's a less strong win. Here's 17 to 1 of bamboo against um, Fang. Uh, Fang won 17 to 1. And you can see it, it says it right down here below the, the matrix. 17 prefer fang while one prefer bamboo so it shows that it shows all the information you really need to sort of take this in and it shows these uh, a bar chart you can also turn off the matrix if you want to just see the bar chart the matrix is the the um what you might say is the canonical answer the bar chart is trying to show for instance that bun me and perio are very very close and uh, Chipotle and La Boulange, Boulange is, is as well as Sucherito. Sucherito seems to be a tie with La Boulange. Uh, they're both 10.41. And um, in any case, the idea is both to make it easy to vote and to just communicate the concept of a Condorcet election, which I thought at the time, uh, I, I still believe in Condorcet elections. I think they're a very powerful, um, sophisticated way to elect things, but they may not be all that practical for real world use. They'd probably be fine for simple things like this, like voting for a restaurant, um, especially as the number of voters is small. It's good to be able to provide the rich information of a uh, fully ranked uh, ballot. Um, but uh, in any case, from a theoretical point of view, it's interesting to see it done this way. I haven't seen it done since um, in any way approaching this sophistication. And by the way, you can actually see where I talk about this back in October 2003 on the um, election methods mailing list. And I'm actually asking some of the math people there about how you might want to do the um the scoring because that is a very tricky problem and I'm not even sure that my solution is uh, 100% consistent with what you expect from a Condorcet election. Um, scores don't really work that well but it also is awful nice to be able to, I think it's kind of essential to be able to show how close the candidates are. Of course, you can do that in approval and many other methods, not so much in instant runoff and, and and, and not in, in, um, in Condorcet uh, as well, but I at least made an attempt at it. So, so that's that, and thanks for watching.